Today's Morning Minute, fearless. Why, why are you afraid? Fear is the big bully. Fear speaks loudly. Fear shouts at you. Fear comes at you in your sleep. Fear and faith in God do not mix. Fear and happiness do not mix. Fear and courage do not mix. Fear and hope do not, do not mix. Clear thinking and fear do not mix. Imagine, imagine living one day without rejection, regret, regret or failure. Imagine one full day without fear. God gave you a spirit of courage in him, strength in him, love in him, confidence in him, and trust in him. Fear takes away your sound mind. God gave you a sound mind. You can invite in fear or slam the door on fear. Open the door and invite in the spirit of God's power, love, and a sound mind. In Christ Jesus, there is no fear because perfect love, perfect love, perfect trust, perfect confidence in God casts out fear. Imagine yourself as a walking dead person, a walking dead person. You have died to self and are alive in spirit. This is a fearless state of living. The Apostle Paul saw himself as a walking dead person. And in Acts 20, verse 24, however, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the good news, the good news of God's grace. And in Philippians 1, uh, in Galatians 2, 20 and Philippians 1, 21, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives, lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in, in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And in Philippians 1.21, for me, for me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Your life in Christ allows you to live without fear. You can rest on the promises of God. You can rest in his strength and love. You can rest in what he has done. And in Matthew 10, verse 28, when fear shapes your life, it becomes your God, a little g God. It becomes what you bow down to and worship. Don't fear those who kill the body that cannot kill the soul. Walk in, walk in the confidence of the resurrected Christ Jesus, who set you free from the prison of sin and death. Claim your identity. Claim your identity in Christ as an heir of God and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. You are a child of God. You're in the family of the body of Christ. You're a son and daughter of Jesus. You're holy and righteous and sealed, sealed with the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ. You walk in the favor of being a king's kid. Walk today in the confidence of God and speak of the hope you have in Christ Jesus. You have an eternal home. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen.